So today I got a package. Um, basically, the postman was nice enough to bring me my new toy. I'm just gonna put in a small assembly video here and then let's talk. Let's go have a look at it. Now it's it just hailed outside uh, because when I get bikes, the weather turns shit. So what this is, is a fat bike, which means that it has these beefy big tires, right? Front and back. And then it's electric, which means that you have a battery right here. And then due to um, this whole European regulation of things, the motor, which is down here, is 250 watts. Um, this bike has a throttle, which means that you can actually use the throttle without pedaling, or so it used to be. Because um, the thing is, I had the old version of this, well, I had the other version of this called a Rad Rover or Rad Rhino, depending on whether or not you're in the US or you're in um, Europe. That one had a 750 watt motor. It had a throttle that was unrestricted, meaning that you could just power all the way through, which was fantastic. This one has a restricted throttle, which means that you can go to six kilometers an hour um, and then it cuts off. And you can bike the bike until 25 kilometers an hour and after that it's only pedal speed. Now the problem is this bike is 30 kilos and the other one was two. Um, so I've ordered a hack kit from the US, which I'm gonna install in a few weeks when I get it and make a video about it which completely removes these restrictions and at the same time it unlocks the motor because this motor is in fact a 500 watt motor not a 250 watt um, so i think that's going to be very interesting the reason i'm showing you guys this on the channel is because this is something that i really enjoy doing and i think that when it comes to drones it actually makes a lot of sense because this is going to be my vehicle for you know going out and finding spots um, the reason i chose this particular model is that this model is actually a fat bike that folds. That means that right here, we have a mechanism so that when I clasp this down and I also open this one right here, I am actually able to fold the uh, handle stem and fold the whole bike in half, which means that I can take this bike with me. I can bring it in my car. And with the old one, I couldn't. And since fat bikes are 30 kilos, uh, I couldn't even put it on the back of my car because I don't have the little knob for trailers and everything. So I'm really looking forward to this. Let's, um, let's go give it a test spin. Three kilometers out, I can feel that it's been a while since I biked anything or just moved my body. But this is great. Um, I mean, look at this place. This is one of many, many forests in the area I live in. Look at this. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna fly out here. Not today, because I just knew if I was to pack my quads and everything, uh, I would have a flat, or the bike would explode, or the battery would catch on fire, or just out trying the bike. So yeah, that's uh, that's everything for today. I'm gonna be showing a lot more of this later, and uh, next video. I want to be doing something about sticks and drones. Um, I'll explain more about this later, but 
Um, I cannot believe how many people do not change their sticks. I'm not talking about the length or the height for their remote controller, but actually change them, figure out what suits them. It makes a massive, massive difference. And uh, I'll try to explain how and why and, and my findings on it in the next video. So until then, bye.